Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with horse racing tips for Thursday the 10th of October. Well, a brief recap on Wednesday's performance. Well, it was a profitable day for the for those of you that put the bet on. Yes, that's right. Um, because I was busy in the morning, um, I forgot to put the bet on. So I missed out on a 10 to 1 winner. A, a winner that returned at threes, but I tipped at 11 to 4. The 10 to 1 winner was actually returned. I think it returned at sixes, I think, in the end. But um, I did have a, actually have a pound each way of that because I got back in time um, from work. But I'm, I missed putting Lucky 15 on. The first horse came placed at. I left the price. Um, I left it to SP, and it was lucky because I did. I could have backed it at four to one. It returned at sevens, and unfortunately, Glenn Glenn Dower, I think what it called, did absolutely nothing. So I got that one wrong. So I apologise for that one, but uh, it was a profitable day. So let me get on to Thursday's racing. Um, the theme at Bath is um, what what handles the ground. Um, at A, I fancy horses that. Um, yeah, can go on the ground. I, can't, I believe currently it's good ground. Um, and, yeah, so let me get into it. So I've had a 10, and I've actually put this bet on, as you can see, a 10 pence each way, lucky 15, and 25 pence each way singles. It comes to a fiver. So the first selection is Tarbat Ness at 6 to 1. I've took the price because I, th I think it's a reasonable price. Could go to 50s, could go to even money, I don't know. But I'm happy with 6s. In the 125 at Bath. So this horse, it, it's a proven mudlark. It loves soft ground, or even heavy ground. It stays two mile. Unfortunately, the only thing that is a negative for me, I can't find that it's ever ran at Bath. Um, I was looking at Russian Rumour as an alternative, but the fact that Russian Rumour likes Bath, I don't think Russian Rumour likes it likes dreadful conditions it, it has ran well on soft in the past russian rumor has but it's also coming back off a little bit of a break so i've opted for tarbat nas because it showed a big improvement from its flop two runs ago when it ran well at pontefract um john berry trains the horse um like i said i think it's got a decent chance and um Six to one, I think. I think it's a, it's a fair price. The second selection is Et at six to one in the one forty at air, paying four places instead of three. So this horse is a red car regular and an unlucky loop, well, unlucky, unlucky not to finish in the places on a regular basis. It always seems so. Obviously, you know about the red car draw bias. So this horse, it kind of hugged the bias by sticking to the inside rail. Unfortunately, in about every run it's run, every time it's run at red car, and I seem to have tipped it, it's been in a bit of a pocket, and uh, it's been able to get a run, and it's been it's hugged that that rail. Obviously, they run on the round course, but it's hugged that rail, got the quick ground, but not quite got a clear run. Um, so this time there should be no excuses because air is a very wide course. They may well come down the middle. There is no excuses at air to be in trouble. Um, so I think. If they want to win this race, I think it, I think the horse is in good enough form too, and um, I think it's got a decent chance. Six to one. If it comes placed, it's a prof profitable bet. But we want to, we want the first two to definitely win, and I think first two realistically have got extremely good chances. Not not just horses I might think have got a bit of a sniff. I, I think they've got very strong win claims. Um, yeah. So the third selection. The third selection is Matisse at 15 to 2 in the 325 at air, paying four places instead of three. So originally I was looking at Rouse in Encore. I think it's got a chance, but I do believe that Matisse didn't want the slower ground last time at Ripon when I tipped it. It ran well, it moved quite nicely, but then it just flattened out. So I think this better ground, or currently better ground, at air uh, will suit it. And I, I, I think it's got a decent chance. You've got the Easter Bids are in quite decent form, but you can never, you never know when to back them. That's a problem. It's like you've got a horse that's running well, you, you back it, and all of a sudden they've got an outsider that's not running very well that um, hoses in. So they're a hard stable as always to predict. Um, but I do think Matisse, the last time I can see that it ran at air, or the, yeah, I think it was the last time it ran at air was in the Air Bronze Cup. 
in I nearly said 1922 then, in 2022, and it was rated 80, low 80s. It's off of, I believe, 68 tomorrow or 65. Whatever it is, it's very well handicapped. If they want it to run well, it, it could run well. Um, it likes the ground. I, I believe it's currently good ground at air. Um, yeah, and I think, I, I think it'll be fine tomorrow. And the final selection is, it's our Jenny. So we've got them for Jenny. At seven to one in the four o'clock at air, paying four places instead of three. Recently, it's been running okay, but in better company. I think this drop down in in um, in class, it's normally up with the pace, which is probably well normally a bonus with air, as long as they don't go absolutely nuts. It always seems to me like they're going about hundred mile an hour at air, as in like far too quick. But a lot of the time, they don't actually seem to capitulate. Uh, the front runners sometimes they do. Don't get me wrong. But I, I just think, in general, it always looks like they're going too quick at air. Well, this horse will be up with the pace. Um, it's been running in Class 4s recently. It's dropped down to a Class 5. It's David O'Meara and Daniel Tudope, and you can't knock them at the moment. So those are the four selections. Um, I think they've all got a decent chance, I'll, I'll be honest with you. So it doesn't, it doesn't mean they'll all come place. It, probably, it, could, it could quite easily mean that they all come last. But for that bit of extra luck, if you can give me a like, a subscribe a comment or share the video i really appreciate it so i wish you the very best of luck charlie winters over and out cheers mate